This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 10, Building an App, Color Sleuth, Puzzle 20. Next step, Add Function Update Score. Oh good, I was wondering when we would. We're going to follow the same pattern we used when adding Switch Player. Ah yeah, the Switch Player function we added. We'll add uh, variables, a function, calls to the function, and for now, just use, uh, oh, and for now, just use console log statements to verify we've got things working. Add global variables, that means way up here at the top, so every function can use it, because remember, if I have a variable on a function like var r here, other functions don't see that. It's only contained in the function. But if I have var random button ID, all my functions can use it and change it just like here. Okay. Uh, global variable, okay, player one, player two score. Well, let me start out by doing that right away. So P1 score, P2 score, and we're going to start at zero because that's the starting score when you start a game. <laughs> uh, P1 score, P2 score, zero. Okay. Um, add a new function defi definition. Update score with an if statement and console log, something like this, something like this, okay? So if we're doing that function, and it has a parameter, so I'm going to grab the one with a parameter. And what do we got here? Update score by uh, AMT is the parameter for amount, one would assume. And then we're going to change up our variables uh, inside of an if. So we're going to be checking if current player is one. Oh, we're going to check the play. Okay, got it. We want to see who's the current player to update the score. That would make sense. So current player equals equals, which is the equality operator. So if it is equal to one, and we're using two equals because one equals, well, reassigns a variable. Just like this is a variable thing. This is going to play P1 score equal what it, P1 score used to equal, but add amount to it. So that's these two equal signs are completely different than this single one. Okay, so P1 score, P, yep, all right. Oh, I put an extra do it. Great. And then, oh, I'm going to actually go back to that because we want this same thing. But if it's not player one, right, if current player does not equal one, then it must be player two. And so we can add amount to player two. Okay. And then they want two council logs. So, nope, that's in variables. One and two. That's better. That's better. And then we're going to log what, well, their score is, which will help for air testing. OK. Add calls. Yep. So we have these functions, but we need to ask the computer to run them. Computers don't run code inside of functions unless they're asked to. That's why functions are so powerful. Ooh, and we're going to have arguments. These are the parameters, right? So this is what is going to be passed. What that means is what amount is going to equal when we ask update score by 1. When we ask it to run update score by, amount equals 1. So we would add 1 to the player 1 score or to player 2 score, depending. Oh, and this would actually, we're adding negative, so we're subtracting from their score. All right. Add calls, update score to the appropriate place inside the if statement. Check correct. Yep, got it. So, that switch player, update score, check correct, is here. So, if correct, you got it right, and we're going to do I need to add a parameter spot, well, an argument spot, and what do we want to add? Um, 
our function name is update score by. Okay, and then we're going to do this again right here. Else, so if button ID is not equal to the random button ID, that would mean they got it wrong. And so we want to do update score. And this is where we would want a negative number, a negative three. Test it out. All right. Button four is correct. Current player is two. Score, uh, why aren't we updating the score yet? All right, uh, let's have player one get this right. And then the current player is one. The correct button is three. All right, now let me just start getting things wrong. Uh-oh. Okay, so I have a bug. I needed to finish writing. Update score by. Let's try again. Let's get something wrong. There we go. Awesome. So this is what, here are my two calls in the if statement, right? Okay. And then the whole function declaration is down here. I can't wait till we have it update on the board or on the screen. Awesome. Let's keep uh, going.